Hello friends, today's art lesson is how to draw a simple robot. I'm gonna make two different robot drawing uh, demonstrations and today's demonstration is simple in the sense that we are using simple shapes and we're gonna combine them into making our very own robot now you can go ahead and follow along with me but I'm gonna be teaching you the principles that help you to really design your own simple robot you'll need a pencil and a paper let's get started before we learn how to draw a simple robot I want to start thinking about shapes that we're gonna use for our simple robot now we're gonna think of a robot a little bit like a person. We're gonna think about his head, we're gonna think about arms and, and body parts. And before we do that, I wanna start by just practicing some shapes. A robot is gonna be made up of geometric shapes. We're gonna have squares, circles, triangles, long rectangles. There's a million different kinds of shapes that you can draw. So before you start drawing a robot, just start drawing some of your favorite shapes. And the reason for this is because as you start drawing your robot, you're gonna to wanna to start thinking about the different body parts of a robot in terms of shapes. So we're gonna have a head, and maybe the head will be a rectangle. We're gonna have eyes, which maybe you wanna keep as circles. We're also gonna think about hinges. So a, bot, a, a robot, in order to move, is gonna need to have hinges. And the way I like to draw hinges, uh, let's, let's start that over. The way I th like to think about hinges is many little parts together because that's what's gonna help a robot move. So we have, say for instance, part of the arm could be something like this. Think of it like a slinky, or um, a, you know a, a very easily movable part we are also going to be thinking about buttons and this is where you're going to practice drawing small shapes so maybe really little circles uh, maybe half circles like this so get familiar and start practicing those shapes and that's going to help you as you are designing your robot okay now you have an idea of some of the shapes that you're going to use which by the way, you don't have to just use these shapes. You can use any kind of shape that you want. In fact, let's just draw a couple right now. So these are standard shapes, but what if I wanna think about a shape that's more unique, that doesn't really have a name? This might be a matter of practicing straight lines mixed together. And these are different shapes that you can use in your robot. All right, so let's get started on our robot. Let's begin by thinking of our robot like a person. So we're gonna have a head. And for my robot today, I'm gonna draw a rectangle head. Now you'll notice that my lines are not perfectly straight and that's okay. Um, I could use a ruler if I really wanted to to get perfectly straight lines, but for me at least, that takes a little bit of the fun out of it. I wanna really use my imagination and get familiar with this character that I'm creating. So here we have our head. Now I'm gonna make my robot more like a person. I'm gonna think of his eyes, and I'm gonna think of his nose and his mouth. I could draw circle eyes, but I'm gonna just make this long skinny rectangle as the section of where his eyes are gonna be. And now I'm gonna draw some short lines to delineate where I see those eyes. As you're drawing your robot, you'll notice that it's really fun to draw shape within a shape. So you can see how I've drawn a square and then I've drawn a square within a square. This really is a fun way to keep drawing the shapes and uh, make it seem a little bit more mechanical. Now I'm gonna draw a nose. Let's give him this rectangular nose and maybe we do the same thing. We draw a rectangle within a rectangle. That looks kind of cool. Now, I mentioned different shapes before, and we can now think of drawing shapes within shapes. I'm gonna draw two straight lines that connect these corners as though to make a triangle. I didn't exactly draw a triangle, but it looks like a triangle because I have these two straight sides. This is gonna be his mouth section, and I'm just making this up as I go. I have not really planned this, so I'm just like you guys. I'm drawing this as I go. This is gonna be his mouth, and 
I want there to be an impression of teeth. So now I'm gonna draw some really short lines. And you can see how a combination of long lines, short lines, and shapes within shapes starts to be the foundation of how we're gonna be drawing our robot. We talked earlier about how uh, we have body parts, we have hinges in robots. In order for a robot to move, humans have muscles, right? We have our hand muscles that help us move back and forth. A robot is gonna need to have some mechanical way to move, and those are gonna be hinge points. So for his neck, I'm gonna draw this series of pieces that are gonna allow him to twist his neck side to side. It's not one solid shape. It's gonna be a series of shapes, and that's gonna help him move. Another way to think about hinges, and I'm gonna just draw this off to the side, any series of small shapes put together or small mechanical pieces put together are going to allow this robot to move. So let's say I wanted them to be squares or rectangles, or maybe I wanted it to be ovals like this. You can even draw a squiggle, like a slinky. So these are all ways to put smaller shapes together in order to make hinge points like a neck or elbows, even limbs like arms and legs. So let's move on to the main part of the body. I'm gonna start with that straight line like I made for the rectangle head. And now, instead of doing a rectangle, let's actually make a triangle. Often when I make a triangle, I start with the two sides, but I'm gonna start with this flat bottom, so it's like an upside down triangle. And this gives us the impression of shoulders. See, here's his shoulders. Here's where his belly button would be. In fact, let's give him a belly button. That could be really fun. And let's keep going with the bigger body parts. Before we start drawing the arms and legs, let's give him some hips or a waist, whatever you wanna call this part right here, this base. And from these two parts, we're gonna draw the arms and the legs. So let's start with the arms. Now remember, we have these different idea for moving parts. And let's start with this idea. Another way you can show moving parts, if you don't wanna draw all the little parts, is you can draw a bigger shape or two lines like this. And now we're gonna break that up. And we're gonna draw short little lines that let you know these are easy to manipulate. So let's do that again on the other side. We're gonna draw a little bit of a curve and we want this arm to move, right? We don't want this arm to be stiff. We want it to undulate and swing back and forth. We want him to be able to pick things up. Maybe he can throw things or lift things. There we go. So we've got that first part of his arm. In order for him to have an elbow, he needs to have uh, an elbow. He needs to have some kind of hinge. So we're just gonna draw a simple oval like this for his elbow. And we made this part for his upper arm. Now for his lower arm, let's give him a little different kind of moving arm. Let's, <laughs> let's draw those circles. It's almost like they're beads put together. And you can imagine that when he wants to move, he's gonna be able to move, his arm's gonna be able to move like a snake, it's gonna be able to move back and forth. All right, let's get to his legs now. We'll do his hands in just a minute. Um, I wanna get a sense of what his legs look like. Now, because he's a robot and not a human, we don't exactly have to make him perfectly human. He can have another little part of his waist right here, and then let's give him another rectangle box and let's do the same thing we did with the arms let's give him some legs like this and I'm gonna let those kind of feel like a slinky or an undulating arm I'm just gonna make a series of these short lines this can maybe be an easier way instead of drawing teeny tiny rectangles you can just draw one really big one and then break it up into smaller ones and that can be really a, a more simple way to do it all right let's give this guy feet now i'm going to you know let's let's give him let's give him half circles for feet we haven't done a half circle yet so for a half circle i'm going to make an arch like a rainbow like this and then i'm going to make a flat part 
I'm gonna make a half circle like this and a flat part. You can see how my lines are a little bit darker here uh, because I'm kind of sketching it out. I didn't, I didn't do it the way that I wanted to at first. And instead of erasing, sometimes you can kind of just keep drawing it until you get the shape that you like. And because he's a robot and we want him to do cool things, how about we give him some wheels at the bottom? Now, these don't exactly look like wheels, but if there were to be wheels, maybe from the front, maybe we're looking at, if this is a wheel like this, there's our wheel. If we were to turn this wheel to the, to the side, it would look like this because it's three dimensional and we see that part of the wheel. Because he's got this foot underneath, we only see that part right there. So here are these <laughs> roller skate feet. Now let's get back to the hands. I'm gonna draw some light circles like this to give me a sense of the palm of his hand. And from this point, um, I, don't, I don't know if I want him to have real fingers. I think, let's give him like claws. Now these are gonna be straight lines with a curve, straight line and a curve to give the impression of a claw. So that was really quick. We've got our full size robot. This is where it gets really fun. Because this is a mechanical robot and you can have him do whatever you wanna do, you can get as detailed as you like. So you notice how he's got this torso. Well, if you want, he can have all of his maybe command board or mechanical um, buttons right here. So let's give him this little box where he's gonna have some gears. Maybe he's got a gauge right here. We're gonna do a half circle and doink, a little leather, a little uh, pointer to maybe gauge the, the heat in his system. And then maybe he has a box here with two buttons. Maybe that's an on and an off button. You can also make things that are not necessarily on the front of your robot, but maybe on the side. So maybe here he's got a switch. This is like a switch over here. And then maybe here's a switch over there. There's really no end to this, right? Here's his head, and we can do the same thing on this side. Maybe we want to give him some ears or like little antennas. We're going to make a box and some antennas for ears. I could keep drawing and drawing, and this is where your imagination can really go to town and have fun. Here's another gauge that we're going to draw with maybe some lines and a whole series of buttons. To finish out this part, I'm gonna add another shape. Let's see, we haven't really used our triangle shape, so maybe we got some triangles right here. And here we have our simple robot. I hope you guys have so much fun using your imagination to draw your simple robot. Have fun.